Hi everybody, this is the final wrap-up for making the ribbon border for July. So we talked about uh, making the uh, three color geese and the units for that. So I'm just gonna talk about the wrap-up for that. You have 20 of those and you have a final unit here of adding your half square triangles that you've sewn together. And you have 20 of unit one to make. So um, this actually is unit, this is unit one. Okay, pay attention. Unit one, the thing that you have to watch for is that little point. So when I sew these together, I put them together and I sew from the back. And you use that little scant seam so that you don't sew right at that point. Because if you sew right at that point, when you press it open, you're going to lose it. So I sew just a little little thread below the point so that when you press it over, you don't miss that point. Just a little tip there. Okay, so that's unit one. And then this would be, whoops. Yes, I'm, I'm correct, okay. Unit two, right there, okay. So there's unit one and there's unit two and you're gonna make 20 of each for your ribbon block. And then you um, also have with unit one, unit two, you're going to be adding the two and a half inch by four and a half bars of fabric two and four below, depending upon the unit. So this is one of the colorways for one of the units. You'll be adding that below and you'll see that here. So you'll just be adding that to the bottom. And then um, you also have a step one adding remaining with some of the other units you'll have um, the longer strips that you cut with um, um, your 12 and a half inch strips. So uh, anyways, that's on unit three. So you'll have some of those bars. And then on the bottom, you need four of each of filler bars. And those filler bars that you'll see way up at the top, I'll point with my strip. They're a little bit up here and those are some little filler bars and that's what those look like. So I just have them laid out here and these are what your filler bars look like and you have four of each and the filler bars are shown and those were those one and a half by two and a half inch pieces and they'll measure one and a half by six and a half inches when you finish and those are just laid out here. So there's a, those are your filler bars to piece and then your very last step are your um, four corner bars and those are laid out here and those are using some of your last half square triangles that you made and so that's what your corner bars look like and they're in the upper corner um, blocks that just turn the corner right up here in your four corners okay and that's the last bit of your ribbon block and those will measure six and a half inch square so once you have all those pieces made you have all the pieces made to make your units so you can see the top units here and what they look like you have four um, of your corner blocks you have unit one unit two unit three and then making the corner so you'll follow that along and those are going to go around your center block your checkerboard so now we have our outside unit made okay so that's really exciting it's moving along because then we'll be moving out to our next step of our stars and our flying geese so i hope that your quilt is looking great i've heard that they all are i've seen a lot of them looking terrific and uh, have a great july thank you